What's up, YouTube? Well rested Piper here. Smoking a little haunted bookshop and my Savinelli Rossi. And today I thought that I would just talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on haunted bookshop. Now mind you, I am no connoisseur. And my palate is not very mature. I've only been smoking since July, and I normally only smoke on the weekends, so it's been fairly limited. But I picked this tin of Haunted Bookshop up at my local tobacconist who's about an hour away from where I live, but pretty close to where I work. When I bought this pipe, And so, I've only been using this pipe to smoke Haunted Bookshop. It has not had anything else put through it yet. And I'm not necessarily going to dedicate specific pipes to specific blends. I don't have enough pipes or really enough spending money to buy specific pipes for specific blends. And uh, I'll probably smoke aromatics in my cobs simply so I don't accidentally ghost one of my briars since I only have two in working condition. But, I picked this blend up and was a little scared of it because I've heard a lot of claims about it being really strong in nicotine. And I have never been a cigarette smoker. at all, in any form. As a kid, we all try them, but I never stuck with it. <clears throat> but I have smoked a fair amount of cigars. I've never gotten sick off of any of them. So I picked this tin up when me and my friend went to the tobacconist and he was buying his first tin and he picked up some Elizabethan mixture. And so I bought this because I wanted to try something new and uh, I've heard nothing but great things about it from Matches 860. And uh, my first bowl of it was one of the fabled uh, Perfect Smokes. It packed, did the charring light, <clears throat> second light, true light, and it smoked all the way down. No problems. Smoked cool, no tongue bite for me. And it was really enjoyable. I felt that it tasted a little stronger than the Elizabethan that I was used to. You know, maybe more body to the smoke. I'm not sure. But that's how it felt to me. But what I found with this blend was that I was picking up more flavor. By that I mean different notes. I was actually able to detect, like, the nuttiness of the burley. I didn't uh, get a lot of that hot, ashy taste that you can tend to get from smoking too fast as I'm still practicing my cadence. This, this blend has really uh, seemed to work for me in slowing myself down. And I also don't uh, seem to get that bad lingering aftertaste with this uh, because I don't smoke it as fast. Uh, it came at pretty much the perfect uh, moisture content for smoking out of the tin. Maybe a little on the dry side. But you can always re-moisten it. But it's been smoking well for me. And, um... As far as nicotine goes, which I was worried about, it's never made me get any sort of like nicotine sickness or lightheadedness, nausea. 
So I don't know if I just have a high tolerance for some reason because I'm a bigger guy. But I have smoked this on an empty stomach and it's never bothered me. Just last week, I smoked it in the car on the way to parent on the way on the way to dinner with my wife's parents. And it didn't bother me. So overall, I would say that this has slowly overtaken Elizabethan for my favorite blend that I currently have. Which might be a good thing seeing as uh, Dunhill's going away. But I would definitely recommend this. If you're skeptical of the nicotine, I wouldn't worry too much about it unless you're a real, real lightweight, which I would assume I am. It doesn't seem to bother me. But if you don't like Burleys, you might want to stay away from this. But other than that, I think it's a very enjoyable smoke. And I'm glad I decided to pick it up. Though my next order of it will probably be from either uh, smoking pipes or pipes and cigars. Some place where it's just a little cheaper. I think I paid like 18 US dollars at my local tobacconist. And it's nice to support the brick and mortar. But next time I make a bulk order, I'll definitely throw some more of this in there. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Happy piping.